Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up your heads up display properly so that it looks a little bit like this. As of right now all we have on the heads up display is the number of coins and the score in the top right hand corner. However they are quite hard to see, there's no icons and there's also no functionality to pause the game. And we are going to be adding all of that so your heads up display Display looks exactly like this by the end of the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Now one thing I do need to mention before we go any further is you guys need to have the latest version of the Endless Runner asset files. If you want that, the link for that is in the description as we do have all of the elements for the heads up display within here. Once you've got these, what we're going to be doing is going to our runner files within our content browser in Unreal Engine 4, opening up the UI folder, and then making a new folder for our uh, heads up display. So make a folder called HUD, open it up, and then what I want you guys to do is to just import all of these images in here straight into the content browser so that we can use these later on. Now, one other thing that I want to do before we go any further is you'll notice that you guys probably have some joysticks on the left and the right hand side of the screen. As of right now, I don't have those because I've removed them. Now, what I want you guys to do is just go to your project settings and get rid of those joysticks as we do not need them on your heads up display. The way that you're going to do this is go to input and then default touch interface select the drop down and just stick, uh, stick this to clear and it's going to get rid of those joysticks as you will not be needing them for your game. Once we've done this what we can do is start constructing that widget blueprint for our heads up display. Now we already have one created so we can just use that so what we're going to be doing is going to runner files blueprints and, and opening up our runner HUD. Within here we're going to be putting in all the graphics that we're going to need. So first of all, we have got our score and number of coins in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to drag in three images to go alongside those. First one is going to be for the score. Now we've already got a score icon. So what I can do is use the score icon from our end game screen. And then I can just resize this to the size that I need. So I can set this to 55 by 57. But if you think that's too small, then you're just going to have to scale it up manually, which I'm going to do. And you want to make it nice and big, nice and easy to see as it is a mobile game. So I'm going to drop that in the top right hand corner, just like that. I'm also going to anchor this to the top right hand corner so it stays there no matter what. Moving on, we're going to add the icon for the coins. So coins icon. And we're just going to make this nice and big, just like that. Once again, making sure we anchor it to the top right hand corner of the screen. And then lastly, we're also going to set up our icon for the high score. Now bear in mind, we don't actually have any functionality for that, but we will be setting that up in a separate video, but we're going to put the text there and the icon there nonetheless. So go in here, search for your high score icon from your end game screen again and then just place it in, scale it until it's about right and then anchor it to the top right hand corner. What you should have now is something that looks a little bit like this. Your icon should be nice and big, nice and easy to see. What you also want to do is make sure that your text is all the same size as well. So this text up here is about the right size and I can see that that is size 91. So with my coins over here, my coin text, I'm also going to set this to 91 and then just place it exactly where I want it to be, which is just to the left of the icon for those coins. And then I'm also going to add one more piece of text with the score being four zeros, size 91. I'm going to place this correctly and I'm just going to move it to the right, uh, to the left of my high score rather just like that, making sure I anchor it to the top right. Notice in my heads up display, I've got this yellowed because it's the high score, it's not too important. So what I'm gonna do is just set the color of this, using my color picker to the yellow color. 
So what we should have now is if we compile this and press play, you can see we've got our score quite clearly being displayed in the top right hand corner. We've got our coins and our high score and it's a bit easier to tell which piece of text is which because we've now got those icons next to it. So that side of the heads up display is all good. Next up, what I want to do is add in the little pause button in the top right hand corner. You're going to be able to click this, whether it's with your mouse or on your mobile device, and it's going to pause the game. We're going to set some functionality up for that. So let's go and do that. So open up your runner HUD display widget again, and then what we're going to be doing is adding in a button to the top left hand corner. Now for the image for this, for the normal, under details, style and appearance, we're going to set this to pause. And you should have a little pause button that looks a bit like this. Just make sure you scale it and then anchor it to the top left hand corner if it hasn't been done so already. And then what we're going to do is make sure our margin is set to zero, go to hovered, once again we're going to be using the same image with the margin being zero but we're actually going to add a little bit of a red tint over that and then lastly for the pressed image once again we're going to be using pause margin zero and we're going to set this back to the default image which is good so if we compile this now and press play we should have a little clickable button in the top left hand corner now bear in mind it shouldn't be doing anything at the moment as we haven't set up any functionality for it but what it is doing is you can see you've got your button set up and we will be able to click this now the way that we're going to add the functionality for this is we're going to have a second widget blueprint which is going to contain these assets here a piece of text saying game paused and then two images, uh, sorry, two buttons, one to continue the game and unpause, and then one to leave and go back to the main menu once we have set that up. So what I'm gonna do is within our runner HUD, we're going to click on this button, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the details panel, and we are gonna tell it to first and foremost pause the game, and then we're gonna tell it to create a widget which is gonna contain those other elements. So. What we're going to do is drag out from the execution pin for the event for that button and we are going to look for set game paused. With this we are going to make sure it's ticked. So now when you click that button it's going to pause the game and we can test this by pressing play and then just clicking that button and you can see now it has paused the game for us. Once you've done that we are going to be creating a widget and with this widget, we are going to be adding it to the viewport. Now, we haven't got a widget just yet for the pause game, so we've got to go and create one. So compile this, you're going to have an error because we haven't filled that out yet. But what we're going to do is right click, add a new widget blueprint within our content browser, and we're going to give this the name paused. Open this up, and then we are going to quickly place in two buttons and a piece of text. So with the text, anchor this to the center of your screen and then with your text set this to game paused with a big old exclamation mark at the end. And then what we're going to do is just scale this up nice and big so the player knows they have paused the game. So what you should have is something that looks a little bit like this with our two buttons start off with the first one which is for continuing go to your appearance under style in normal in the details panel and set this to continue button and then for the margin set that to zero the size x and y copy it from down here and paste it up here so what we're looking at is 385 by 91 and you should have the correct size button then. All we're doing then is setting up the hovered one which is going to be continue hovered sorry continue hovered set the margin down to zero 
and you can see it's now when you roll over it it's going to have this yellow color to it instead and then lastly we're going to be setting up the pressed image which is when you actually click it and this is just going to be going back to the normal look of that button make sure you set your margin down to zero on that as well now for the functionality for this continue button what we're going to do is go down create an on clicked event so when you press that button we are then going to tell it to set game paused and make sure this is unticked so it's going to unpause our game and then we're also going to remove from parent with this widget to remove the pause screen so it's no longer on the screen hit compile and that should work for us now all we need to do is just set up the look of the second button mind you we're not going to be adding any functionality to that so for the normal set this to leave button margin zero and size copy it so 385 by 91 up in the X and Y at the top here and then make sure you line up these buttons nicely with the game pause text a bit like that I am happy with that and then we're just going to set up the hovered image which is leave hovered margin zero and then with your pressed just set this to your regular leave button making sure you set your margin to zero like I said, we're not going to add functionality for this leave button as we do not have a main menu just yet. What we can do, however, is close this up, go back into our runner HUD, open up the on clicked event for this pause button that we made and make sure our class is set to our paused screen. So this way it's going to open up the pause menu. If we go ahead and compile this, press play, we should have our HUD looking just the way that I wanted it to. I can press the pause button in the top left hand corner and then I can also press the continue button to get back into the game. Now notice my two buttons are off to the left of the game paused and that is simply because our anchor points aren't correct. So I anchored game paused to the center of the screen but I didn't do the same with the buttons. So just go ahead and do that, anchor these to the center of the screen and then hit compile, hit play, and now if we go and pause our game, once I get over this pipe, you can see they are now placed exactly where I want them to be, they're not in the way of any of our text or other items, and I can press continue and jump straight back in. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for the heads up display. Like I said, we're going to be adding in the functionality for the main menu button in a later video and we're also going to be adding in the high score text in the top right of our HUD in a later video as well once we've set up the functionality for that. As always guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.